Hi guys, I'd got absolutely no intention of doing a video tonight, but here we are. I Not long ago I just popped to the kitchen uh, to uh, fetch out of the fridge one of these. Hang on. My favourite. Notice that is an empty packet and trust me I have had more than one today. Mrs. Bradley is trying to get me to put some weight on because I'm quite underweight so um, she keeps picking me up little treats and uh, they go down quite nice actually. Anyway, what shall I talk about? I thought I'd better talk about um, the last week since the first so hopefully you're up to date with my previous video where I've been having this horrible relapse and on the first I went to the hospital in Derby and had an infusion of methylprednisolone so that was the first which was the Tuesday last week Wednesday and the Thursday so where shall I start um, side effects I'll tell you about the side effects shall I first made some notes actually I started making notes on them um, last week on the three days and gave up because I've just been so random I've been so up and down I can't even keep track of myself so right one of the main side effects which wasn't uncomfortable to be honest was um, flushing of the face oh boy was I warm my face was so warm and like glowing red and uh, a couple of people commented saying wow you've got a good colour there Neil so uh, what's the other one okay insomnia oh my god the insomnia um, on the first I went to bed I was absolutely wide awake. I didn't go to bed till 1.30 a.m. and I was absolutely wide awake and all I did all night was try to drop off to sleep. And it's a really weird feeling to be honest because I was tired. I was really tired and my eyes were shutting. Uh, don't worry I wasn't falling asleep on you there. And my eyes were shutting but I just couldn't drop off to sleep. My body would just not switch into sleep mode. It was God damn so frustrating, so insomnia. Uh, one of the other ones, heart. Could seriously feel my heart beating fast in my chest. Well, not necessarily fast, a little bit elevated perhaps, but really thumping. And that was not disconcerting. I wasn't worried about any of the side effects because I knew that I'd had the steroid infusion. But, um, you know when it's quiet at night and you're trying to go to sleep and all you can feel is your heart going boom 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 in your chest it's a little bit disconcerting so here we are on present day which is the 7th of August 2017 and it's Monday evening somewhere around about half ten um, rewinding a couple of days to Saturday Saturday was a really really bad day for me we normally go out all day, um, pottering around doing shopping and bits and bobs on Saturday. I stayed in the house all day and I just slept. I could not function. I slept all night really well to be honest and then I got up about nine, half nine and it was only if I could only manage a couple of hours up and I just had to go back to bed. I was so tired. It was more than tiredness, it was fatigue, really bad fatigue. I've, I don't feel like that. It was really different. I, I don't suffer from fatigue at all. The MS doesn't cause fatigue for me. So this has got to be something to do with almost steroid withdrawal. The withdrawal from the steroid. Uh, the fatigue being a side effect. And I generally just felt really unwell. My walking was horrendous. I, I just took very little steps. I was shuffling holding on to everything, couldn't balance, I couldn't take steps hardly on my own at all, ridiculous. The next day, Sunday, which was the 6th of August, 
yesterday. Improvement. Thank goodness. I was pretty relieved to feel some kind of improvement because by this time I was getting very worried. Um, so my my back had loosened off a lot because my back has been so stiff, my back has, and that, that causes my balance and walking issues. It's something to do with the core muscles in my back stop working and they, they like go rigid and and when I take steps it just feels like my back is going to snap and so I have to take little steps there's no balance or support in my back in my core muscles hardly at all uh, so that's why I'm going to be going to neurophysiotherapy soon had the um, letter through letter sorry uh, to say they're going to call me so I'll, I'll update you about that anyway I've digressed as usual where was I? Sorry guys, Sunday. Slight improvement on Sunday. Walking a bit better. Um, pain in the legs. Squeezing, burning, not so bad. Okay, so today, Monday, this morning I got up and the balance is okay, walking okay, but I noticed my right leg was not behaving itself. It was seriously dodgy. And when I say seriously dodgy, I mean the squeezing from my thigh all the way down to my foot was pretty bad. I mean, I'm talking, feels like my leg's set in concrete. My left leg's at this moment in time about the same, actually. It's eased off slightly during the day. Um, but not a great deal and I've been like that pretty much most of the day now the worrying thing is okay every time I go to bed I might get up in the night Molly usually wakes me up to be honest um, and when I get out of bed I never know how I'm gonna be I don't know if anybody of any any of you guys can relate to that. Do you ever get up in the night and you sort of swing your legs down the side of the bed and you go to stand up and you don't know if you can stand? You don't know if you're going to be able to take a step? You don't know how many steps you're going to be able to take? Are you going to be able to tackle the stairs if you've got stairs like me? Those those things are very real to me at the moment and and very very worrying and scary. Um this is a little bit longer video than I wanted, but um, just rewinding, and I know I've mentioned this before, back in 2013 when I had methylprednisolone steroid infusion in 2013, um, I didn't really experience any significant effects until about 10 days afterwards. So I'm still really, really hopeful that this infusion is, I'm still going to get some improvement on my symptoms because although I can pot around the house at the moment, I'm not very good at all. I still can't go into shops. Um, I'm still waiting in the car for Teresa while she's doing shopping. I, I just can't, I just can't walk quick enough. I, I just can't do it. It's just ridiculous. So right i think that's about it for this one i'm 10 subscribers off 500 so um if you're enjoying these videos you know i'd really appreciate it if you just subscribe and, and if you like this one hit the like button cheers guys i'll keep them coming bye for now all the best